Snakes are in an arms race with mice. An arms race. Snakes, because you get it, they, they don't have arms. Hey gang, Trace here for D News. In essence, snake venom is highly evolved weaponized saliva, but to get even more specific, the venom contains proteins and enzymes suspended in a solution. If you dry it out, 90% of venom are these proteins. We've known about this since the mid 19th century, but now a new study has explored how this complicated cocktail of chemicals evolved. The first step was to sequence the complete genome of the king cobra. Done. Check. What's next? A paper published by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences then took the genome and picked it apart. They wanted to see where all those proteins and chemicals came from. It turns out each individual toxin inside of the venom developed from proteins which were originally from non-killer parts of the snake, like the pancreas. Basically, evolution went through the library of proteins already produced by the snake's body and decided for some reason to copy it over so they could be used in the saliva glands as a toxin. Over subsequent generations, those toxins had been mutated and modified to be better at killing or paralyzing prey. Voila, venom. If you're wondering why they keep getting more complex if the venom was obviously working, you and the researchers should get together for a little jamming. Turns out, a little more study needed to be done because the king cobra's prey was working on its own defensive system. When the cobra evolved a toxin, their prey would eventually develop an immunity, thus a new toxin had to be pulled from the depths of the snake's body, or an old one needed to mutate to continue the survival of the species. Scientists think each snake's specific cocktail of proteins and enzymes has to do with the snake's diet and prey and lifestyle choices, you know, feelings about sociopolitical issues and stuff. Maybe not that last one. The researchers also found the toxins were sometimes copied back into the snake's library to be used for non-toxic purposes inside its organs. Over time, this great mix of proteins and enzymes helped the snake survive and provide for additional survival functions. Knowing all this about venom is going to help scientists figure out how to decode the venom's individual parts and build better anti-venom. Because with each snake, they evolve separately with separate sizes and prey and lifestyles, etc. No two anti-venoms will work on the same venom. They're basically super customized poisons. So right now, if we want an anti-venom, venom is milked from snakes and injected into livestock. Then the sheep or the cow or the pig's antibodies are collected for use in us. I'm sure it would be easier if we knew the root of the venom and could treat that instead of this trial and error stuff. Way to go, science. Doing awesome stuff every day. What do you think of this study? Is it pretty cool? Is it kind of weird? Tell us below in the comments section. And if you're interested in more D-News, subscribe and then check out the videos over here. See you next time.